Hi, welcome to Angie B's house. This is Angie B, and this is the door to my pantry. Wait until you see the mess inside. Okay, let's go ahead and get it open. Okay, it was a coat closet, and uh, I needed more storage for food and stuff, so I went ahead and, uh, well, my husband went ahead and put some shelves in here. And as I pan through here, you can see how much of a jumble this closet has become. So I want to go ahead and uh, you know get things straightened out. Uh, starting on the bottom, uh, it is larger stuff. So I want to go ahead and uh, rearrange that so uh, it's not so messy. Uh, this shelf will be primarily cooking utensils or like cake pans, cutting boards, and uh, larger food items. Um, the majority of the canned goods will go here, as well as on this shelf. And then up here will be anything that's too large for the other shelves, uh, more like, you know, items in boxes. And then the top shelf will remain the stuff that we don't use very often. Um, might not do a whole lot with that shelf because it doesn't look too terribly messy at the moment. Uh, although there is some food up there. So let me go ahead and get this emptied. And um, I will go ahead and, uh, you know, show you what, some, what a particular shelf looks like when I get it rearranged. Okay, so here is the start of the reorganization. Uh, what I've done so far is taken almost everything out of the closet. Uh, table's not big enough for it to fit all, but uh, I did begin organizing according to what type of food it is. Um, for instance, on the right, you can see I have the soups, then I have sauces, um, then I have vegetables with some crackers thrown in, and just, you know, went ahead and tried to get it organized uh, on the end here I have a lot of the baking stuff so um, that's the start is to you know separate each item according to what type of item it is and let me get you a shot of what the closet looks like now okay so I still haven't uh, gotten to the bottom part yet uh, I will get that in just a few minutes uh, all I have left on this shelf are cutting boards and baking pans this one's completely empty. This one uh, is canned goods and some brown sugar. And then I have more canned goods that I haven't organized yet. And then I still have the items on the top shelf. So let me get to doing some more organizing and I'll bring you back in a few minutes. Okay, didn't take quite as long as I thought, but I am finally done. And this is what it looks like. Hopefully it does look a little more organized than it did before. As I get off the stool. And I know that bottom shelf might be a little difficult to see. And I'll show you that in a minute though. Okay, and as you can see, bottom is all clean and not uh, all messy with stuff everywhere. So, let me get back up here on the stool as we pan up one more time and I'll start at the top and show you what I did to get some more organization to the, the, the closet. Okay, top shelf, is, as I mentioned, is just miscellaneous stuff that uh, I don't use very often. Have an empty space for my cake pan, which is currently being washed, and then a vase. Um, take out trays for uh, when I have leftovers, I can take them to my mom, and then um, an empty bottle for when we, um, you know, potentially have the water turned off and we can get some drinking water in advance or uh, water to flush the toilet. Okay, the next shelf. Okay, over here is all of my baking supplies and a jar of my grape jelly. Um, this top container is empty, but um, 
it's for flour when I have more flour than what can fit in one and it's more convenient just to sort with the rest of it and there's two more underneath that are full of flour okay more baking stuff okay and then I have my pasta and so that I can see all the different types of pasta that I have I've turned the boxes out uh, with the exception of this one there was really no way to show what kind of pasta it is so I will have to look at the the side or pull it out when I want to know what it is it's noodles but I can clearly see what kind of pastas I have and then over here is uh, just a bunch of miscellaneous bags and breading and croutons popcorn beans um, but uh, I put it in the box so that if I need something I can pull it out take a look to see what I have and put it right back and hopefully we'll keep those boxes smaller boxes and croutons and such bags falling over okay next shelf down let me go down a step here I have another box of miscellaneous um, there's some oyster crackers rice and two packages of the uh, canora sides um, my crack box of crackers okay and then I have my sauces and pop tarts more sauces there's cheese peanut butter um, onion bits and then way in the back is a jar of you can get in there there we go Let's see way in the back is a jar of juice and the ketchup and then over here is all the foods that I've canned. Um, I haven't done a lot of canning. I'm just starting to learn how to do that. But I have canned carrots, peaches, potatoes, and then there's another jar of jelly. And now over here, you might ask, why is there a hockey stick in the pantry? Well, quite frankly, it's not worth anything. I can't get rid of it. And it works nicely for me to reach the top shelf and to get those down without having to climb the stool. Okay, the next shelf down. Get the stool out of the way. I now have all of my vegetables. Um, I do wish that manufacturers would make can set stack no matter what um, unfortunately Kroger doesn't and you can put it but as you can see they're like dipsy so I wish that they would stack um, if you look back here uh, see if I can get some light in there and the Billy Bee's cans have a different type of bottom so they stack very nicely and so since this is these two rows are all green beans I put the cans that stack nicely on top just to help have more room and then I have corn and all of these cans of corn are the same uh, golden corn golden sweet corn uh, with the exception that I do have two cans of creamed corn so since these are the cans that do stack um, I have one on top so that I know it's also on the bottom now once I use one of these if I still have one left over, I'll move that can up front so that I know that it's different than the rest of the cans of corn. Okay, now next to those I have my canned meats. Um, I put them in the back as long as they're tall enough. Once the stack gets shorter, I will move them towards the front. And then I have fruits. If I had more fruits, they would be right here. Um, you know what, I think I might just do that anyway. Just move the fruits over here real quick, just so that they're separate. And then I would call these next few rows uh, my one-offs, where I have only like one or two cans of something. Um, tomato paste, cans don't stack, so I just put them all out front. Uh, now the one other thing that I did is two two things okay right here is a can of crushed tomatoes it's a big can so I put it in the back 
but to show that I had another tomato product. I only had one can of tomato sauce, so I put that on top of the crushed tomatoes. That way my tomatoes are together. Uh, kind of the same thing here, in that this is a can of enchilada sauce, uh, and I had just a single can of chipotle peppers. So since they're both Mexican themed, I did put the chipotle peppers on top of the enchilada sauce. And then these were greens, two cans of greens. Uh, I only have one can of leaf spinach. So again, I put, to keep them together, I put the smaller can of leaf spinach on top of the larger can of greens. And then finally over here, I have all of my soups. Um, this whole row is chili mac. This whole row is chicken flavored soups. And way in the back here, I have a can of chicken noodles. So that lets me know that the can underneath is also chicken noodle. And then I had some smaller cans of soups, two cans of tomato. So I put them together. Okay, now down on this shelf, I have three boxes and my banking, my um, cutting boards and, and kick pans. Uh, in this box, I have all of the small boxes, uh, like a macaroni cheese, I have boxed potatoes, stuffing, rice. Um, one of the problems that I found is that these boxes will always fall over. So I'm hoping by putting them inside this bigger box, uh, it'll keep them together. Um, this is just miscellaneous. I have some crackers, some um, pears, a thing of applesauce, and a thing of cheese. And the last bag of popcorn. And then in this box I just have the raw noodles. Now on the bottom, I have um, a meal plan that I have graphed out. Um, up when I do follow the meal plan, uh, I go ahead and hang those on the wall. They're six weeks worth, uh, but I'm not doing that right now. For, so um, it's here in the pantry closet, which just makes sense since it's food related. I have my pressure canner. I have... My outdoor dog scoop. Um, not any food down here, so I don't, there's no reason why I can't have a, you know, that. that um, not only that, I do wash and disinfect it every time I use it. And then I have over here, I have my potatoes, and I put them in the box so that they would fit on top of the bottles of water. Bottles of water that uh, I have for just in case. Uh, we do lose our our uh, water. Water gets shut off, uh, you know, approximately one or two times a month for repairs. And so it's nice to have that extra water just in case because we always have a boil order afterwards. So one more look-see at how I got it organized. Um, I hope that it does help you and if there's something that you have done that works really well for you, uh, please feel free to comment. Uh, always looking for new ideas on how to keep a space such as this from getting all messed up and remaining organized. I also hope that you'll comment like and subscribe and until next time i'm angie b and you have a great day